Welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, I'm just going to update very quick about a V chain, and in a way, do I think the price of V chain is heading to at least for the short term? So, as you can see on the screen, uh, V chain got a very nice bottom formation, just like Tron, right? And then uh, I uploaded a uh, an update just about like three days ago about V chain, and I said like V chain going to be a uh, very explosive very shortly, right? And then uh, uh, it could like. Uh, the price of VeChain could very shortly uh, go to like a uh, 157 to a uh, 162 on my pre previous video, right? So when you take a look at the current price of VeChain, is like you know 137, and then it went up like I think 142, right, on Binance, right, Sats. So when you take a look at the bottom formation, right, we got some uh, you know some nice wave to the downside, right, just just about this area, and then we broke above it, right. So what I'm expecting VeChain to do now is just to make a one-to-one -one extension no Elliott wave not no counting right I just say one-to-one -one extension so when you take a look at it I'm looking for VeChain to replicate this entire wave right, right so you would be looking at a target of all, like just about like 170 180 right so but just because we got this uh, uh, correction to the left just about this area right if you take a look at it we got this correction just about this area so I'm expecting like uh, a lot of activities just about this area as not we can get to this area right so we could be getting like a nasty uh, sell off to the downside uh, because of this move going to be very vertical so most people are going to be uh, taking profit right so and then uh, we got a nice bull flag just about this area if you take a look at it right so this rectangle right most likely as not as uh, we can uh, break this area we're going to like a uh, going straight up the next 24 to 48 hours right so we just have to break this area if you take a look at the uh, the four hour time frame it's a nicer uh, it's a nice flag right but you know the uh, daily time frame is, is it's just better to uh, go by the daily time frame and then get like some indication on uh, on a lower time frame so what i'm looking for vchain to do now is to be explosive right very uh, to be very explosive uh, very shortly right so you go take a look at the rsi on a previous video our side was like 55 to 58 right so now the current the current value of the outside is just 69 so we still got like plenty of room to go right uh maybe like get to like 74 to 78 i don't think we're gonna get to uh, 91 because this move going to be so vertical we can it's, it's gonna be hard to stay at 91 that long right so what i mean by that is that is that uh if vchain was to uh let's say vchain was making this uh you know type of slope right just like that right like Tron did right so I would be expecting we could at least get to 91 and you know stay there for a couple more days but this this move this move is you know gonna be like a vertical move just like December you know uh, 2017 right so it has to it has to you know be very quick and then you know kind of cool down a little bit right so that's my expectation for VeChain uh, if it stay there for long i mean good but you know i don't i don't expect it i don't expect it like to uh, you know get to like five five hundred or like four hundred very very shortly so it has to correct after that our side looking great so just wait i'm just looking for the our side to uh, get to this area of 78 to uh, 80 maybe right and then you know it's like pull back maybe you know stay it stay in this range like you know for another move to the upside and net never get over over oversold again right so at least for the short term uh, that's my price prediction for VeChain, at least for the short term. Let me know what you think down below. If you like the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.